hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're returning thank you so much for the love i love you all right back so uh in today's video um i'm trying to fix this thing because my hair i've been looking how it's i've been seeing how it looks on previous videos and i don't like it so i've just decided to just tie this stuff so that I don't know. So, now in today's video, I want us to have, uh, I want to do a house tour for you guys. I'm almost moving out. <laughs> so, actually, I'm beginning to start packing today so that I move out tomorrow. So, I just said that let me just do a house tour for you guys, for those people who are seeing, seeing me for the first time. And if you have been an OG in this channel, you know that you've been seeing my house around, right? So let us just dive into it. Also, <laughs> this house is my, I live, this is my school house, you know, like when I'm in school, this is where I stay, it's a bed sitter. And then I have another house where I stay with my partner, my small family in Nairobi. So yeah, so that's that. So let us just get straight into it so guys this is my door when you just come straight into the house i don't know how to do this but i'll just try and do and be quick and when i stand from the door this is the what this is the this is the view that you get okay so i don't know should we just start with the living room then we come to the kitchen no so then when you turn to your right this is my kitchen all the way up yeah so it's just a simple kitchen basically this is a semi arid area so i'm packed with a lot of what are these jerry cans what are jerry cans 20 liter i have those i have others over here but th there's usually water but it doesn't come most frequently then i have my single burner over here i got from jumia and just fix it to my gas cylinder over there but now it's over and done <laughs> uh, thank god it's over and done because uh traveling with a with a full or with a filled uh, gas cylinder is usually hectic so that's that uh okay up there we have um, those boxes that i used to get these things i just put them there because like tomorrow they'll now be very convenient because i'll just be placing the stuff inside there and move out with them you can see here <laughs> i put a lot of stuff just random stuff you can see zaku pika too you see like uh, tomato paste some chili cube but this is just for now because i am moving out i'll show you i used to put this nyanyans and kitungus then this side i used to put cereals flour maize flour uji flour rice all of that just that's just things for cooking and then on this other side i used to put breakfast stuff and this naan that is now over so sugar drinking chocolate all of that breakfast stuff i used to put them over there then when you come down these are all the utensils i have in this house by the way all of them all of them that i have are here uh, they are disorganized like that because I just washed them because I just want to move the clean stuff, you know. And maybe some will get new owners, so it's just good to leave clean stuff. This is what I was using to clean and we don't waste water over here, so they might even wash others. This is my window from outside. It brings a lot of light and I love it. I have this they're not curtains but they're i don't know what i'll put them over here i'll put the name out here so at night i draw this down <laughs> this was just a kimono that i cut so that it can just be uh, blinding over there at night so that uh, people cannot peep through in and then that's all about the window and then we have uh, a mini we had to pick a call so and this area now <laughs> before we go to this area this 
uh, everything that is going on here just for washing dishes I have this for the baby and then I have ours inside here and I love these ones because they are they wash well then you have baby stuff that I put here and here whenever I want to wash I use these two for the baby and I keep place them there then we have uh, this water jug that I also got from Junior and this uh, blender mortar and a blender that I use uh, that I got from uh, Jumia as well and they work pretty amazing like this one has served me for now close to two years it's very amazing just that the hard water in this area has just destroyed it and I also think I want to be carrying it because I broke one of these knees whatever as what are those I broke it so it can't be useful to me when I carry it so and that's that then mm, uh, down here I, I I I had what I had carpenters place this thing for me so that I can just maximize the storage down here uh, before it didn't have this thing so I Kept, I put it and I think it was nice. So on this first part, I put this service over here so that for easy, for easy reach, easy zote. Ni 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 ni. Uhuru bags. Zimeja apa uhuru bags. <laughs> Down here, I put my jiko, maka, uh, kiwi and this ni ni. Also dustbin over here. because But say it's outside because I've just washed it. Then here, I put... I just put random stuff here, the beriti, kamba, what else, soap, sometimes still wool. I put them inside here, and then just random stuff. Down here, I have my baby's drinking water, and then toiletries, I put all of them over here. Everything that I need that is for washing, I put down there. Then onto this side. We have this uh, here. This is where I used to put the nyanya and kitungu, but right now I don't have any. These are just chapatis. Then down here, I now used to put uh, what I used to put what. You see now, once I have like, I have like what I have like. Uh, now when I put like the maize, rice, beans in these tins. I put them down here so that I can be able to reach for, out for them easily. Uh, yeah, including cooking oil and all that. Then down here, I just put <laughs> random stuff like I have my thermos. This one I used to get the blender with. Uh, my water bottle that I don't use. <laughs> and this one as well for my DIY cabinet. So, <sighs> that's all about it. So... Let's make a small kitchen. I love it. I'm going to miss it. It was a tiny cute kitchen for sure. It was an amazing kitchen for sure. So let's go to our living area. Our living area. Uh, let me start with here where I am. I have this basket for the baby. Uh, I just got from a local supermarket and then our charging station is also here as well, connected back here. Okay, then when you move to our living area, we have this area that my nanny sleeps. And then all our bags, we have them arranged here. This is my nanny's space and I down there have shoes that I don't wear. And then we have a lot, a lot of clothes that I don't wear in that <laughs> bag. You'll see them as I unpack everything. <laughs> Uh, that I don't want to carry so my duvets all of this all of those things are down there then we go to the window side so it brings again a lot of light I love this house because of the lighting yo I'll really miss this amount of light <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever <laughs> live in another house that brings more light like this so this one I used to cover uh, it's not like I don't have what. Let me look for that name then come back. Okay, it's not like I don't have a, a window shear. I have them in here. Let me just show you. You see? But I just thought I'm here for like two, three weeks. So I don't need to put a shear over there. And then so I just cover with this. But even at night, even if I have a shear here, I usually draw it 
up there then in the morning i bring it down on this table i have my books over here yes i went to st albert's girls high school Ulanda. and if you are an alumni please shout out <laughs> shout out to you then i have a lot of things over here going on i have oils that i use for the baby that i use for on my body i have these toys for the baby ah, i have a lot of things lately i've been craving soda a lot uh just random stuff these medicines that i use on the baby and all that jazz like it's a lot of things going on there then i have a cabinet here that i put now here i put everything random i have my notebooks my pens my receipts uh my oils some of my other oils i have a calendar here just random stuff that you'll see me unpacking as i uh prepare to travel then i have this seat that i use and these mats that i used on my doors but uh my carpet was stolen i used to have a very beautiful blue carpet given to me by my sister but once i washed it it was stolen so i survived and this seat you cannot use it on the floor alone if you use it on the floor alone you'll fall down na itavunjika kama ingine nitaonya shapa then now this is my bed <laughs> oh i love this bed honestly and they bought it with my own money including the the what the mattress like i have a very sentimental touch to it um but yeah that's all about it so yeah i have these pillows for moonlight pillows i don't know whether <laughs> she calls herself moonlight pillows anymore whether she sells them but they're good quality including this pillow and that other pillow that i have there so and then i have this macintosh you've seen it already and my mattress okay i love everything about this bed it's so comfortable it's it's it it's the it now i put this heavy baby blanket over there because my son usually have very different sleeping styles so sometimes <laughs> you can find his head hanging on that end or he even turns and bang his head on that nini on that wall so i just put that to cushion and as in as in i love that but then i have this very very not very very pretty what um net <laughs> but it has been doing the job lately but it has been doing the job but i may just change it i don't know because it has very big pores that sometimes those mosquitoes can get inside the net and kuraruka like it tears so easily so again down here we do not we can't miss things down here in a bed sitter so i have baby straps the bathing and for washing his clothes then on this side we have this chair that i usually put either my uh, my towels sometimes or this lessos so that it can just be easy sometimes i use these lessos to shower so i just pick and get into the bathroom or sometimes um when i have clothes outside that are for what for folding i put them there as well then i have so this one the same case that happened someone came and sat on it without being put on the nini then kavunjika to evil then now onto this diy cabinet that i got from kamukunji my sister got it for me from kamukunji let's start from up here so have i put bags you can see just basically babies mine um this one this one is like a bathing net but i don't use it because i realize it's not comfortable for the baby please if you can't just avoid buying this stuff yes it's cheaper but you can that get that cushion one <laughs> so yeah please if you can avoid this bath net so yeah to the vlog it's <laughs> So let me show you it guys so this is what i'm saying you put it on your like your baby's what bathing tub then i don't recommend it guys if you can get the cushion one just get it 
spoon in time. So I want to take you through these ninis on the side. So inside here I organize baby's rompers. Baby's rompers, all of them I have them. By the way, these are all of them. Maybe two or one that are dirty. Down here I put all the onesies and trousers, shorts. Down here we have sweaters, t-shirts. Wow, he has a lot by the way. Down here I put pampers, baby stuff too. You can see Bella. If you haven't tried Bella yet, what are you waiting for? I have diapers here, so I just put everything that he needs for changing diapers, baby wipes, marking tosh. Next, it's a big compartment that I have. I put flannels, baby blankets, and these, um, what? Baby cardia. Yeah. If it's pretty, comment down below so that I can hook you up to the person who bought for me. It is so comfortable. So good, so good, so good. And it was very cheap. Down here, what do I have? Ah, just random stuff and a very big baby sweater for the cold. Then, up here, I have uh, his socks, bathing stuff. This is Nitangwaje bibs, baby bibs, liners. Now, one thing I want to talk about in this area, this thing, if you can, just avoid it if you're a new mom. You know this uh, towels for washing the baby that are to 5300. Avoid. They're so rough on your baby's skin. Let me tell you, you won't like them. If you can't, just get liners. <laughs> I put my Andes here and my braziers. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys, gosh. And these two compartments I use for myself. They're not organized in a way because I want to either donate or just burn some clothes inside here. So let me show you what's in my bathroom. Oh. It's just like this. Let, let, let my friend show you guys inside first. Yeah, nothing, nothing big. It's just like a normal bathroom. <laughs> it's a normal bathroom, by the way. It doesn't have anything. One thing I like about it, it's white, and I've tried to maintain it, guys. If I show you this bathroom, and I'm moving out tomorrow, and I show you another one in this plot that someone has moved, I'm a day, you know, do you think? Do we maintain? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that now i want to continue another video that i started yesterday just to pack and unpack stuff so thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it comment subscribe do everything good share as in it's completely free no one will charge you let me know what you think about this house yeah so until my next video bye for now guys